Assalamualaikum and hi student. So this is another lecture video for BEKG 2443 Engineering Mathematics 2 Chapter 3 Back to Calculus So in this video we will cover the second last LO which is to state and use the Stokes Theorem 3.7 Stokes Theorem okay, This is the definition of Stokes Theorem Definition 3.6 The circulation of a vector field f x y z you have f f f x y z i plus g x y z j plus h x y z k around the boundary c of an oriented surface s in the counterclockwise okay counterclockwise direction and positive with respect to the surface unit normal vector and equal equals the integral of nabla cross f and then you have dot with n over s. So three formula you can use to solve for Stokes theorem. The first one either you solve for line integral f dot dr. Second one it is equal to you have double integral s. You have a cross product of nabla and your f vector field dot product with n ds. And this is equal to double integral for curl f ds. We will see these three example. Okay, and then for the second formula, you have cross products of nabla and f, and then you have n ds. So n ds, you know before, n is equal to r u cross r v divided by magnitude of r u cross r v, and this is equal to negative del z over del x i minus del z over del y j plus with k and the magnitude is equal to del z over del x square plus del z over del y square plus 1 square root of all these three term okay and for nds nds is equal to negative del z over del x i minus del z over del y j plus k divided by square root of del z over del x square plus del z over del y square plus 1. Okay. And ds is equal to square root of del z over del x square plus del z over del y square plus 1 okay if you, if you can simplify this so you can cross these two so nds is basically equal to this term okay for the first example if s is the portion of the paraboloid z equal to 1 minus x square minus y square for which z is all positive numbers and f our vector field is equal to 2xi plus 2xj plus 4yk. Okay, to solve for this, first you need to know what is the curl. The curl or the cross product of nabla. Okay, nabla and f. So, find what is df over dy, dg over dx, dh over dx, df over del z, del g over del z, and del H over del Y. Okay. So for this you have 0. And this is 2. This is 2. This is 0. 0. 4. And then nabla cross F now is equal to 4I plus 2J plus 2K. And you have this kind of uh, cross product for uh, nabla and f you have all i j and k so what you do next is to find what is your n d s so for n d s you need to find the negative del z over del x i minus del z over del y j plus k okay in this case our n d s is equal to del z over del x so del z over del x is negative 2x okay so negative negative 2x i minus del z over del y so we have negative 2y 
G plus K. Our K now is K lah. Okay. So this is equal to 2XI plus 2YJ plus K. <coughs> now you have the nabla cross F and NDS. So you can solve for the double integration. You have double integration 4I plus 2J plus 2K dot product with your NDS. NDS is 2XI plus 2YJ plus K. Okay, so this is your DA. DA, let's say we take R, DR, D, theta. Okay, so this one, we have Z, uh, when Z equal to 0, so we have X square plus Y square equal to 1. So we have a circle with radius 1. Okay, then you may proceed with the double integration. For the double integrals, okay, first, do the dot products okay and then when we solve for the dot products we have 8x plus 4y plus 2 r the other theta and then substitute what is the x and y r cos theta for x and r sin theta for y and then do the double integration as usual and the last answer is equal to 2 pi second example find the circular find the circulation of the field f x y z equal to x square minus y i plus 4zj plus x square k around the curve c in which the plane z equal to 2 meets the cone the cone z equal to x square plus y square square root of them counterclockwise as views from above okay so for this one you have z equal to square root of x square plus y square and z is equal to 2 so square root of x square plus y square equal to 2 so you have a circle with radius 2 okay and then find what is the all the nine uh, partial derivative del f over del y del g over del x del h over del x del f over del z del y over del z sorry del g over del z and del h over del y so for this you have negative 0 0 negative 1 sorry 2x 0 4 and 0 then the cross products of nabla and f now is minus 4i minus 2xj plus k okay again for this you need to know what is your nds so nds is equal to differentiate with respect to x so you have now is x square root x square plus y square i plus sorry this is minus minus with y square root x square plus y square plus k j this is j okay and then put it into double integration you have a circle with radius 2 okay so your nabla cross f is equal to negative 4i minus 2xj plus k okay dot with okay if x over square root x square plus y square i minus y over square root x square plus y square j plus k okay r d r d theta okay continue from here okay the double integration give you the last answer equal to 4 pi okay for here do the dot products and then you have this and then substitute what is x and y so we have r cos theta and r sin theta and then simplify and then do the integration and last you have to use the substitution over here where u is equal to sine theta okay and since the limit is zero so this is equal to zero and then for la for eight sine theta sine two pi and sine zero is equal to zero so you just have this two theta we substitute two pi we have the last answer equal to four pi Okay, now moving to the third example okay evaluate 
Okay, C, F dot DR, where F, X, Y, Z is equal to negative Y square I plus X, J plus Z square K. And C is the curve of intersections of the plane Y plus Z equal to 2. And the cylinder X square plus Y square equal to 1. Okay, so as usual, find what is then F over then Y, then G over then X, then H over then X, then F over then Z. Then G over then Z and then H over then Y. Okay, if you solve for this partial derivative, you get this negative 2Y, 0, 0, 0, 0 and 1. So your curve is equal to 1 minus, mi minus 2 is equal to plus 2Y K. Okay. And if you have this single curl, I mean you have you just have uh, the value for k you don't have i and j so you can use double integral okay just substitute 1 plus 2y and then find what is the da okay you don't have to find what is nds okay then substitute the limit for r dr d theta so the r uh, dr d theta 0 to 2 pi and then the radius is 0 to 1 and then substitute what is your x sorry y R sin theta then just do the double integration as usual and the last answer for this example is equal to pi okay before we end this video we see the last example here to use the Stokes theorem to compute the integral double uh, double integration as curl f ds where f x y z is equal to x z i plus y z j plus x y k and s is the part of the sphere Okay, sphere, x square plus y square plus z square equal to 4. The row is equal to 2. That lies inside the cylinder, x square plus y square equal to 1. And above the x, y plane. So, since we involve the cylinder, sorry, since we involve the sphere, the sphere, x square plus y square plus z square equal to 4. So, for this case, you don't, you can use the first, the second and the third formula using the nabla cross the cross products okay for this one you need to find what is single integration of f dot dr you need to solve this using this formula okay for this one first you need to know what is your xt so xt is equal to cos t and yt is equal to sin t okay so since you have x square plus y square plus z square equal to 4. And x square plus y square is equal to 1. So z square is equal to 4 minus 1 and this is equal to 3. Z is equal to square root 3. So z t is equal to square root 3. The parametric equation. Okay. So for this Stokes theorem, you have x square plus y square is equal to 1. So, 0 to 2 pi. And then f, your f is this one. Substitute your parametric equation. x is cos t multiplied by z. z is square root 3. So, i plus y z square root 3. y sin t j plus x y. x y is cos t sin t k okay and then dot products with your dr okay dr your r is equal to where can i put the r r is equal to cos t i plus sin t j plus square root 3 k so r prime is equal to Negative sin t i plus cos t j plus zero k. Okay, zero k. So multiply by negative sin t i plus cos t j plus zero k. Okay, zero to two pi. The dot products square root three. Negative square root 3, 
cos t sin t. For r and then for j, we have plus with square root 3 cos t sin t. Okay, so dt, dt. Okay. And to solve for this one, you have negative square root 3 cos t sin t plus square root 3 cos t sin t. So you have 0 to 2 pi 0 dt. So the last answer is equal to 0. Okay. So this, these are the three uh, formula to use in Stokes theorem. You can use in Stokes theorem. Okay. So that's all for this video. For the next video, we will see what is the divergence theorem. Thank you.